Pansies, it's Angie, and it's time for part two of the epic romance of Ronaldo and Genevieve. So, our story last took place with Ronaldo and Genevieve realizing that they could not be together, though they desperately wanted to, and trying to figure out a way that they could make their forbidden love work. Genevieve was heartbroken. Oh, how cruel fate could be that she should fall in love with the enemy of her parents. Genevieve was distraught, and she had no one that she could talk about her heartache with. Well, almost no one. Genevieve's best friend in the whole castle was a nurse named Anne. What Genevieve didn't know is that Anne totally saw her kissing and flirting with the prince with their masks off. So, Anne confronted Genevieve about this and Genevieve told her friend everything about how she was heartbroken that the two of them couldn't be together and she had no idea what to do. Anne was so upset for her friend. She didn't know what to do, so she went to church because, you know, people did that back then. So she went to confession and talked to the priest and told him everything that was going on with Genevieve and Ronaldo and how she didn't know how she could help. But to her surprise, the priest was friends with Ronaldo and told her that Ronaldo was just as heartbroken about not being able to see Genevieve. It's so cute! So, Anne and the priest decided to come up with a plan. They decided that they were going to find somewhere, some place that Genevieve and Ronaldo could be together, love one another without harming the other families. It's so cute! And that's all for today, pansies. Don't short stories suck? I guess you'll just have to watch my next video to see how it ends. Don't worry, it has a happy ending does it? You'll just have to tune in next Wednesday and watch to see what happens. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on Wednesday. Hey pansies, it's Angie, and it's time for the conclusion of the epic romance of Ronaldo and Genevieve. 